What up y'all, it's your homeboy Justin and we are not in my bathroom. We're actually in my old bedroom that I've now made into an office studio space. This video is basically just to let everyone know that my new single, Bear, is out now. You can download it on iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, wherever, um, wherever you find your music, honestly. It's on all streaming platforms. So go check it out as soon as you're done watching this video. The link will be in the description box. If there's a box to put some links there, it'll be there. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about the song and just some things that I want y'all to know. So anyway, the song is called Bear. I wrote this song, a while ago, actually. The instrumental track has been done for like over four years. I started working on it. Actually, the chorus was originally recorded um, in the old choir practice room of my church when I had some downtime. I was working so hard there. <laughs> I started working on it then. I got into grad school and so I had to put that on hold for two years just because grad school took a lot of time a lot of energy. Now that grad school's over and we're stuck in a pandemic, I decided to finish the song. <laughs> so, I'm not trying to make light of the pandemic. I understand the severity and the seriousness of it, I'm just saying. Anyway, so I finished the song a little bit ago and I, it's been submi it, I submitted it to the powers that be and I got an account on TuneCore.com and did all this stuff and submitted some fees and all these things, and now the song is available for you guys to enjoy and listen to. Yeah, it took a while. I can't believe it. Like I've never, I've never had such a long-term thing come into fruition. I've also never um, published a song like this, like in an official format, like it being in a store, like where you can download it and stream it and listen to it and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I've only showed the song to a few people so far, and they like it. So hopefully y'all will like it too. If you do, let me know, give me a shout out. Um, more importantly, I've tried to make the arts and my music be one of my primary sources of income. I haven't taken a full-time job since I graduated grad school. So I haven't worked at a full-time job since, um, what, July? of 2017 i can't have a full-time job it's just something that doesn't sit it doesn't align with my values with the way that my life the way that i want to create my life to look like that's not something that i have in my vision board but being a full-time creative being a musician being a model doing those types of pursuits those are the things that i want to do and so if you would support me in that by just buying the song, I would really appreciate that. So yeah, this is the first time I'm doing a song. There's a full, I don't want it's like a full album coming out soon, but I will say that I have more music written and there are at least four songs that I, um, that I need to record. But I will say putting out music for like in the public sphere for y'all to just listen to and critique and enjoy and all that stuff. I've never done this before, so I'm very excited to see what happens. But back to talking about the song, as I, I drifted on tangents, I'm sorry. The song, like I said, was written a while ago. The song is about how, and I'm not even gonna say that in the social media age, cause this wasn't written with that context. It was just written in a way where if I'm looking for someone to fall in love with, or if I'm just looking for any person, I'll, we won't even say, we won't even, um, what's the, we won't weigh this or um, put this only to romantic relationships, but plutonic um, friendships, any relationship that I develop with a person, I want it to be something that is very real, something that has a very solid foundation on honesty, on trust, on presuming the goodwill of someone and also wanting the best for that person. Especially in the gay community, the way that it works with Scruff and Grinder and all these social media apps and dating apps and all that stuff. I wanted to have a song that aligns with how I view life and how I view um, people. It's, you know what? It's like that, um, that video with Kerry Washington where she's talking about how are you? And she's saying that very few people, when they ask that question, are wanting the full, complete, honest, and sometimes ugly answer of that, how are you? Sometimes people are just asking that for a small talk, which is something that I hate. I hate the frivolities of those conversations because they're so mundane, they're so robotic, and they're so repetitive. And just you're just regurgitating the same thing over and over, saying, I'm good, I'm fine, I'm good, it's cool. 
sometimes you're not fine. Sometimes you ain't cool, you know? And I want to be able to one, create a space where people can feel the need that they can express themselves fully when I ask that question, because I have to practice that being active and active and participating in the conversations with people when I ask, how are you doing? And you also, when you ask that, I hope that you're, that you're in a space where you're emotionally prepared to handle a difficult response to that question. Sometimes people ask that and then when the, and then when the person says, oh, I'm not really doing too hot, then the other person's just like, oh, why well, didn't ask for all that? Then don't ask the question, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so there are lines in the song about knowing the innermost truths of people, not to use that as weapons against them, but just to use that as you know how to um, maneuver around them. If you know that someone is dealing with depression, you know how to curtail your conversations to help facilitate growth and healing in respect to the depression. You don't um, talk to them in a way that just negates it or disregards it. Ultimately, it's just about being around people that you can be, I don't wanna say the ugliest of yourself, I just wanna say the fullest of yourself. That includes a lot of good and sometimes a lot of bad. You just wanna be able to be with someone that it's okay to be all those things at the same time with them. You don't have to put away different parts and pieces and stuff, you know? So that's basically what the song is about. I know it's very long, I don't care. I didn't write this song to be a, I'm gonna make this a cool 3.30. This is all, this is, this project, this song was completely written, arranged, recorded, mastered, everything. All the harmonies in this song was me, okay? This entire seven minutes and 48 seconds of this song is me. So it means a lot to me to finally have this out for everyone to enjoy. There's one quote in the song um, from Bone Thugs and Harmony, Crossroads. And if you could, if you, I'm not sure that I have to explicitly say that, but I already said it anyway. So if you find that um, Easter egg in the song, good on you because you are a real one. <laughs> the link to the song is down there in the description box. Listen to all music platforms, stream it, download it, buy it, buy it, buy it, if you can, please. Um, and then also follow me on all of the social media, if you can. I just wanna say thank you to all who have subscribed to the channel thus far. And you're welcome to the people who said they want to see some music on here. So yeah, thank y'all for watching. And I hope you enjoy listening to my single, Bear. And until next time, peace and keep it locked. Bye y'all.